Hello guys, welcome to our channel. And right in the beginning I want to point out one thing about our living here in the Czech Republic with Gwen as my Filipino wife. So right here I will start. Look at this crazy machine like cold washing machine saves a lot of time, saves a lot of water, saves a lot of money instead of washing by hand. For those who are married to Filipina woman, there is a saying you can take out your girl from the province but you will never take out of the province <laughs> from a girl. So look at Guan, she is right here kneeling and washing by hands. I just finished my clothes in the washing machine and Gwen is washing here. Can you explain to our viewers what's the point of this? You can clearly say it doesn't have the point, but then I will be satisfied. The washing machine is not making my clothes very clean. I'm not surprised, guys, if you don't understand this. I don't understand this either, but that's how it is. You can say or you can try to convince them and it's still never gonna go your way. And now we will move to the topic of the video, which is what's, what are our fears from going to the Philippines? The fears and maybe Gwen will reveal a little bit of Filipino behavior, which may not be that amazing how it's shown all around the internet like about the Philippines. Those kind of stereotypes. Stereotypes. Yeah. First, you need to, to let us know what are your fears. There came a situation in the Philippines which Gwen has been already dealing with that <clears throat> In our house, the, which we are repairing in the Philippines, for those who are new to this channel and did not catch up with that, here is the link on that video. So we are repairing the house, houses in the village, around the house there are another houses, neighbors, people living. And there came a thing that one neighbor is acting very bad to other neighbors. Meaning playing all the music, loud music from the huge speakers. No matter if it's morning, afternoon, evening, night, music is still going. They're not just even a neighbor, but they are my third degree cousin or second degree, I don't know. Oh, so family, even better. I was believing all around the world there is kind of a behavior that you don't want to disturb other people if they are sleeping or time to relax after work and like that, you will just not disturb. You can like play the music in your house, but it will not be affecting other people. What's my fear in the end? We will go there, we will live in Gwen's village and the music will start. If this would happen here, I will stand up, I will go to that house. There can be like two ways how it will end. The polite way, we will be like conversating and we will deal it with words. And then that second way, which is not really that... Pleasant? Pleasant. What kind of...? Violent. <laughs> no, you cannot do that. Yeah, here I can do that, but in the Philippines I cannot do that because Ouch. I will be put to the prison. As a foreigner, I cannot like stand out and do things like that. Another fear of mine, those who know, Filipinos really like doing silly things. Oh, what kind of silly thing? silly things Burn. which results in having so many children huge families families consist of 50. in my family we are even more than 50. <laughs> so, so you see <laughs> <coughs> which results in poverty that families cannot take care of their children like that so you want to be like that no so why are you scared i'm the one i don't want like that as well to have so many children, hmm? yeah. I just want two or one. Yeah, but your family has so many. We will come there as a foreigner who is very, very rich and Filipina who is married to foreigner very rich. who is very rich as well. <laughs> so all those people will just fly center of the village to ask, asking for money. Honestly, expect that would happen. Hmm? 
to my aunt's cousins. They are getting shit from me. <laughs> and they will call me greedy, snobber, selfish, what else? All kinds of negativities. Mm -hmm. Because I don't let them borrow or even give something, for example, donation. They always call it borrow or help or we call it donation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing of borrowing and lending money in the Philippines. You will agree with someone, you will borrow the money, <clears throat> like friend to friend, hoping that you will get this money back. But the word borrow and give back doesn't work in the Philippines. That's true. <laughs> hmm. And the thing which is connecting to that, my another fear, because of that I will be that bad foreigner who doesn't want to help anyone. Everyone will hate me in the village, which will cause troubles to me. In the eyes of other people I will be that bad foreigner. And I also don't want to be like that. So it's a conjured circle and you cannot escape that, or can you? Mm -mm. Hmm? Um, I'm only, you know, giving this kind of um, how we call it like example i'm not generalizing that all filipinos are the same but actually i'm only giving this information based on my experience about my experience there where i grew up on so for me those people who are there are mostly very negative and most of them are very judgmental because it happened in the past i was around 10 years old or nine years old those times there was this um a foreigner he was from usa he was a veteran you know veteran military veteran so he was about i think 60 years old and he's a very tall guy very very skinny because during the war he was wounded or something so it caused him like some wounds or scars in his body and he looked very poor but my neighbor took him because she loved him and she didn't matter if he's rich or not and honestly th that foreigner was actually poor he was very very poor i'm not sure what is the exact story about him but it was my neighbor who supported him everything but my neighbor did not really mind it because she loved him so much but what was very bad about that those neighbors in my no, village knew that he is a poor foreigner so all his life for five years six years of staying in our village he received a lot of bullies from people you're such a poor foreigner like that and any kind of description and especially one time because my neighbor didn't have a restroom so that american guy was just you know going to to the i don't know how do we call it this canal something but around the bush and there's this area in the village and he was doing that there without the restroom so my neighbors were bullying him and shouting at him and laughing at him like that and you can really see that he was so so mad because of his experience and for them for for my neighbors them they think if you are a foreigner and you are poor in their eyes you are very very being bullied and you are considered as a lowly person so for me in my opinion i also have fears that we don't want we kuba and i agree that we don't want to show people that you know we are not rich but we are you know living just an average life and we don't want it to show it to people there that we have something even a little you don't want to show it we don't want to expose something to them so in my opinion i'm also afraid that it might happen that they will bully him <laughs> that oh your husband look, look poor and he's like ugly and stuff because filipinos are very bully people very bully because i experienced that whole my life that we are living poorly and neighbors are always bullying us that we are just poor and that our house is just horrible and they're always bullying us all, all our life and in my opinion that's my biggest fear and for me i have this kind of aggressiveness for me in not in a way that in a bad way i always fight back if it's not right for me if it's wrong already in my eyes and they are doing it not right to us i will always talk back and fight back because I am that kind of a person. So there might be instances my fear is there would be some kinds of troubles. 
because I know my neighbors, they are troublemakers because it happened already before when I was making a fence all around the house because I wanted peace because I was working night shift but my relatives, they were shouting and screaming at me outside of our house telling me that I don't have right to do that because for years they, they, were, they were passing through our house going to the river so it was really a big fight between me and my cousins we were fight fighting i'm not really a troublemaker person but for me if it's not right anymore and i'm already having enough from that i always talk back and i always want to fight what is right for me so that will be my biggest fear so for me filipinos are crazy like i mean in a way that you will not understand our behavior. We will reveal a very interesting thing, maybe for the first time all around the YouTube, because all around the YouTube you can see people who are visiting the Philippines always sharing that Filipinos are the kindest people, the most helpful people all around the world. But there is one thing, only if you have money they are kind to you, they want to help. In my opinion, because of that, they knowing they will be kind to you, they will help you, so you will pay them so much. But once you can see someone is poor, not having money, no matter if Filipino or some foreigner, they will fuck your life. I'm not generalizing, but for me it's kind of Bisaya thing. I don't know anything about the Galug people, but for me it's kind of Bisaya thing. I always notice it, especially in social media. I always see things the same, what's happening in my village or the other islands or the other city and stuff and it's always the same so for me it's kind of bisaya thing we have this kind of the same personality especially cebuanos are kind of complicated in my opinion and those kind of stereotypes that all oh, filipinos are very very friendly they, we, they smile all the time which is true but there's a but here we are only friendly and smiling a lot only to foreigners. Mm -hmm. Do you understand why? No. For me, it's because of mental colonialism. That's also the reason why we, we were colonized easily by um, Spaniards or other colonizers because we are people pleasers. We always just, we are friendly, we are just smiling all the time and for us, we are ignorant of other nationalities and when we see someone is different, we always do our best to please them. That's why we smile a lot, we always try to talk, but if it's other Filipino, especially this other Filipino is a visitor in this place, I don't think so Filipinos are gonna do that, honestly. I haven't seen it only to foreigners. Interesting, isn't yeah. it, guys? Because we are the most people pleasers in the world. We always fake our personalities or attitude. We are fake people, in my opinion. Because if you are Filipino itself and you have lived in the Philippines for so many years, you could really see all the negativities from those people around you. And you can really see the behaviors are horrible. This is the thing we would also like to show in our videos once we are already in the Philippines if this what we are saying here is really a truth we will not be only showing that beauty things about the Philippines knowing there is so many beautiful things right there are so many beautiful places there but for me I don't want to stereotype Philippines because I hate seeing those videos in YouTube that they are stereotyping Philippines and also they're stereotyping about Filipinas about the country and why can't you just show negative things as well for other viewers to, to really know what really Philippines is? We will be the first ones who will reveal that. Mm -hmm. And I will either be punched, it's, be shoot. No, baby, don't do that. Filipinos are very dangerous in my opinion. You see that, guys? <laughs> they are very dangerous. For example, as I was mentioning in the beginning, there is the troubles with the neighbor owning very loud speakers. I cannot solve it with words, 
The other way is also not acceptable, but Gwen found out there is a law in the Philippines which says after 10 p.m. you should be like quiet and not disturbing other neighbors. Gwen was mentioning that once we are in the Philippines and this could happen, we will go to the barangay, like a city hall, to complain, fill out the form about the complaint. If it will not work, we will call the cops. And maybe it will solve the problem and maybe not. The Filipinos will say, oh my god, that foreigner is calling cops on us, we have to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. I'm really scared about that, honestly, because mm -hmm. I know my neighbors are... Here comes the moment of realization for maybe some of you. If you are doing something which causes like other people are disturbed by your action, you should not do that, you should realize you are doing it wrong. No matter what activity it is, you can always like reduce it or stop it. I never do that again. But for me, baby, you know what? It's not about the person is uneducated. I don't believe that. There are still a lot of people who are uneducated who are nice or in a way that they're kind. It does but nothing to do it, with education. Yeah, it that has nothing to do, but it just it has something to do with the behavior of the person. Okay? Yeah, of course, guys, remember there is always some good things, always some bad things. You never know if people are pretending or not, so that's why you have to be like careful. You have to observe, get to know the situation, the person, and after that you can make your own judgment or yeah. your own opinion. So In the first, I was thinking Philippines and Czech Republic are two very opposite countries, but after visiting Philippines after Gwen told me about it. I can, I could say there is much more similarities in those countries than those differences. Yeah, and you know, for me, for me, my biggest trouble there is just, I mean, my biggest fear, honestly, even we are not there yet, but I am really scared right now or just thinking about it. It's all about the trouble, really. Because for me, it might happen because I know my neighbors and I know their behaviors and I know how crazy some mindset we have there in the Philippines and I'm actually very scared of that and I don't know what I can do or what I can do to protect you and I will maybe move mountains, make myself as a bulletproof for you. <laughs> for me? Yeah, but I'm really scared. I'm listening, but you know, I will always fight for you. And you know me as well. But I am kind of savage sometimes. No, oh, Gwen is very savage. <laughs> I'm just small, but I'm terrible. Uh, as I found out through those like Facebook pages like that I joined, once there is international rea relationships between Filipino and someone else, most of the people who are having very nice life in the Philippines, successful relationship, having a family, Many of them agreed on a thing that if you want to have healthy, nice life in the Philippines with your own family, you will make them go away from your Filipino partner's family. Like really go away. That's true. Because the problems will always appear. <laughs> because of those family. Because of those family and money will never solve it. That's true. They agree. but. Um, rest assured, for my uncles and aunts, I guess just few of them, but not all of them, they're just gonna come to us, maybe three of them, because I have, I don't know, in my mom's side, I have ten, um, ten of them, my mom has ten siblings, but I cutted some of them there already, so I haven't talked to them anymore because of the land, um, because of the land, quarrels between my mom's side because among of all this we were thinking about one solution which could maybe work that moment someone will come to for to Gwen to ask for help she will right away send that person to ask me he will not be asking Gwen Gwen will say I have nothing go to ask Jacob do they think I'm living a very nice life here because I am abroad and that's what they think and that's what Filipinos think as well if you're married to a foreigner you're living abroad all of them there are always thinking that you are living the best life. And this is caused, kind of stereotype. And this stereotype is caused by the poor education because those people 
have no clue what's happening behind the borders of the Philippines. Have clue. No clue. How could we stop it? I want to. I want it to stop. Like it's very toxic mindset, really. With this kind of stereotype, <laughs> we will end this video. <laughs> you if... need to end the video because I will not stop talking, right? Yeah. <laughs> If you are curious how it's gonna be in the Philippines, stay with us guys. I'm very curious, very Maybe. scared, but still so excited to go to the Philippines. We will not disturb Gwen this time because look at her, Gwen still have a full pot of rice to finish. She will finish it like... Uh, I know, you're no. saying me that you're, I'm gonna finish it right now, everything. No. Yeah, yeah, that's well. true. <laughs> Chicken, <laughs> vegetable. Rice is life. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button. And see you next time. Papa. Oh, bye. bye.